security is everyone's business and youth must take front seats. This was a call of discussion on Thursday, July 22nd, as members of the Allied Club of Ilobu brought people together for the launch of the club. Security chief, journalist, educationist, community development experts, among others, were present at the event held at Royal Palace Hotel in Ilobu, Ocean State. The club is founded by young persons in Ilobu with the aim of contributing to the development of the town. Our man, Jared Tiamiu, was at the event. Let's join him. For development of society, most especially the grassroots, people must come together, youth and all others, they must come together to ensure that they contribute their quotas towards development of this society. Today we are live at Royal Palace Hotel in Ilobu for the launch of the Hellish Club of Ilobu. We go in to see what they are doing there, what exactly is going to happen here today. Please, it's going to be a very long day. You can just stay there and be part of it. My name is Jari Tiamiu. Let's go inside. Speaking on the theme of the program, the Oson State Commissioner of Police, Olawali Olokode, highlighted the security challenges facing the country, which, according to him, are majorly caused by younger persons. He said these challenges can be solved through participation of all and sundry. Olokode, who was represented by DCP Oho Hukam, called for community support to the police towards combating the crimes facing the country. The internet fraud, what do we call Yahoo Yahoo? Fraud through internet. Where our youths, those who are engaged in this, are youths. We we'll link up with somebody on the net and then siphon money from that person. So it is rampant today and it is a security challenge. Then, murders. We have Yahoo and Yahoo Plus. Yahoo Plus, those who are involved in Yahoo Plus are ritualists. Those, they will not only defraud the person, they will kill for the purpose of making money. Murder, murder. Most persons that go missing, uh, the vital body organs are removed. The vital body organs, the wrist, the heart, kidney, and different parts of the body are used for the purpose of rituals. Such person, before they remove your vital body organ, the person will lose his or her life. In their separate addresses, Majid Alabi of Premium Times, Biodon Logunde, Dari Alabi, and Basit Olokuta extensively discussed the role of communities in the sustenance of peace. They called on the young persons to contribute their quotas towards building a formidable and peaceful Nigeria of our dreams. The speakers unanimously applauded the Ellis Club of Ilobu, urging them to sustain the temple. Some of the participants spoke with Inside Links TV. Let it be cooperative. Please, whatever thing, whatever dream that you have, let her also have the dream. There are beautiful women in this community. There are brilliant women in this community. There are fantastic women in this community. Let's come down home and encourage them to also grow. We were trying to look for a woman to be part of our program in the Noble House yesterday. When we thought of Dr. Mrs. Wumi, Akionik Midi Ogosola, and we thought of the former Commissioner for Finance and Information, Mrs. Remy Wissi, we couldn't come up, come up with any other person. Most of the problem we have started from our various homes. We now live in an era where people care less about what happens to our offsprings. So the children are on the streets and uh, there is nobody to cater for them. When they now grow up, they become a security challenge to the society where they grow, grow up. I think the solution to this is that for our society to be uh, proactive in terms of training the girl child. When we train a girl child, it's a girl that is well trained, that will become a good woman and that will submit to the husband so that when we don't have broken homes, children will be properly taken care of in the course of their development. They have started well because uh, I can see people of uh, Timba and Caliban, that organization, I mean that club, 
So if they can sustain that, I've told them inside the hall that uh, you, I mean, President of the Club of Lobu, we started 25 years ago and we are going to celebrate 25 years anniversary this year. And it's not easy. If they can cooperate among themselves, there are people of uh, those who have contributed meaningfully to the development of the community. If they can sustain that, if they can go on with the legacy of their parents and grandparents, definitely the guys will be this, they are, this, the, the sky will be their limit. And to me, I believe every solution that we have to offer to security has to be local. Because every problem of the society starts from home. And when we miss it right from home, it is hardly impossible to get a solution up there. Because every honorable you think of, every police officer you think of, every military officer you think of, comes from one room. And every antisocial habit that they display out there starts right from home. Earlier in his welcome address, coordinator of the group, Okikiola Ogunsola, said the club was founded in the year 2020. And they have since been contributing their quarters towards community development. He said the main aim of the club is to give back to the society what they have taken from the society. Elite Club happens to be a club that was formed in the year 2020 by a group of friends. Most of us who have been friends for over 25 years, 30 years. Most of us went to the same primary school and to the same secondary school. And now, glory to God, most of us are now in the different field of uh, work and we are excelling in our different fields and uh, you know when you are growing and uh, you were groomed and nurtured by a particular community and society and uh, every right thinking personality every right thinking person who benefited from a particular structure must give back to that structure irrespective of how little that person can go so you understand and that is what necessitated the reason why the club came in, into existence we just came together and we discovered that we can't just leave the tax of developing this community to our older generations and i will believe in our own little capacity we can as well come up with little things we can do to ensure that we contribute our own quota to this to develop this public of this community Chairman of the occasion, Al Haji Sekiro Yusuf, commended the group. He said the security challenges facing the country requires everybody to put efforts together towards ensuring that we have a better Nigeria. He added that efforts of people or group like Elite Club cannot be overemphasized. Every structure of society that government can alone cannot do things again. Talk of education. Talk of security, we are talking about infrastructural development and all the rest. So, it, when when group of people coming together, forming club, forming association, at least their intention is to at least to give back to the society what the society has given to them. So that is an area where we should concentrate now. Because if you look at the budget of the government on, on yearly basis, they cannot even satisfy the yearnings and aspiration of the people again. But where we have people who are well focused and who are well to do coming together, forming a club to help the society to do to come in the area of uh, security, to help in the area of education, in the area of infrastructure development, I think things will be better off than this in Nigeria. Now, police, who represented his boss, uh, the commissioner of police, CP Wali Olokode, uh, to the community leaders, the you know, journalists and some others, they have all said that everybody must come together to contribute their quotas towards fighting insecurity, educational deficiency, and all other social crises, by, by battling the community, especially in Lobo, and then what is happening in the state and the country as large from Ilobo. I am Jerry Tiamiyu reporting for Insights Links TV. See you some other time. Bye for now.